Hey guys, this is Kuka here, and uh, today we're going to um, install custom firmware 6.60 on a PSP Go with 6.60. This works on any PSP, so before you comment on the video asking if it works on yours, yes it does, it automatically does. Every PSP, 1000, 2000, 3000, N1000, which is the PSP Go, anything. So I'll just show you that this is 6.60. There it is. And uh, now what you need to do is connect it via USB to your computer. And I'll post the link in the description to where you need to go. Now, you'll want to open the folder to view files, and you can just minimize that. And once you download the thing from the description, it'll look like that, 6.60 Pro b 9rar You need WinRAR to open it, and all you need on this is Fast Recovery and Pro Update. So just hold control and click on the two. And for now we'll just extract to the desktop. And what you will do is bring up this folder of your PSP. Go into PSP, then game. And as you see, I already have a homebrew in there, ready to show you that it works once we update. Copy Pro Update and Fast Recovery into there. And also, I'll show you right now, in my ISO folder, this is where you put ISOs for PSP games when you download them. Just right on the PSP in the ISO folder. I already have Final Fantasy IV The Complete Collection. That's a pretty new game, so I'll just show you that that works and also show you that it shouldn't show up before you hack the PSP. But it's on there as you can see right now. Alright, now that we copied those over, you can close that out. Get out of USB mode. And I will go to the game. As you can see, there's just Pro Update, no Final Fantasy game. And you want to go to Pro Update, not Fast Recovery yet. You'll need to save the fast recovery on there for when you shut your PSP off all of the way. Like, your battery dies or it comes all the way off. And then you'll need fast recovery to very quickly rehack it without reinstalling everything. Okay. Now, you'll need to... Just to be safe, I always hold L and then press X to install the firmware. But... It's not going to focus. So hold L and then you will press X. And then it writes everything. It says completed. Press X to start custom firmware. Press X. There it is restarting. Keep in mind this PSP is broken. It has no sound. So you won't hear anything no matter what. So it's not a fake video, if that might be what you're thinking. Alright, we'll go to game. And look, now Final Fantasy IV shows up. Meaning, it's now hacked. You can press select, and the VISH menu, VSH menu comes up. Can't really see it that well. And that's where you go to recovery menu. Also, I'll just show you that that works. There's the recovery menu. And, uh... That's how you get into the recovery menu. I will show you that this ISO actually boots up and runs. There it is. Hopefully it doesn't like make me look like a fool and not run for you, but it should. And if not, all you have to do is change the driver over to uh, Inferno. And it looks like it's working. Yep, it has an auto save feature. Square Enix. Square Enix presents.
Final Fantasy 4. Okay, that's enough of that. We'll quit that, and I'll show you that the homebrew works, the Master Boy emulator I used in my last video. Um, should boot right up and work. Your PSP will stay hacked until you turn it all the way off. Here, you can delete the update file. Not the fast recovery. Keep fast recovery. Keep that f fast recovery right there. Start Master Boy. And anyways, you can put your PSP into standby mode or do whatever and it will stay hacked. But if you shut it all the way off or if it dies, you'll have to run fast recovery to rehack it. Just f again for the people who keep commenting and asking questions about all the obvious stuff that I clearly state in all my videos, I'm very clearly stating it now. We'll go to load ROM. There's Pokemon Gold. There it goes. Perfect. Alright. That's it for that. Now if you have any more questions, feel free to message me. If you want to know where to get ROMs, just look on Google. Remember, ROMs for the Game Boys or PlayStation or anything, look on Google. You can find where to get them. I'm not going to post the links here. Remember, fast recovery rehacks your PSP. This is just a homebrew showing that homebrews work. This is an ISO showing that PSP games work. And that is it. I'm pretty sure. If you guys have any more questions, if I forgot to cover anything, just send me a message or a comment, say, hey, I, you didn't cover this, cover it in your next video, or just tell me how to do it, and that's it. Alright, if you guys like this video, subscribe for more like this. I've been putting a lot of PSP videos out lately, and also vocal covers and stuff like that. Many of you aren't into that music, but if you are, then it's, you know, twice as good. But, anyways, subscribe if you like, comment, message me, whatever. It doesn't matter if you add me as a friend, it really doesn't do anything. A lot of people do that. I don't know why. Um, and that's it. Thanks. See you guys later.